and land use. Main idea, the advances of the Green Revolution had both positive and negative effects. South Asia's natural resources range from India's huge coal deposits to Sri Lanka's precious and semi-precious stones. The big story, however, is South Asia's arable land, or land that is suitable for farming, which feeds nearly 1.5 billion people. The Green Revolution. In spite of vast farmland, India, is, India often suffered terrible famines or times when people starved because of a lack of food. During the 1950s and 1960s, India made slow progress in growing more food. Then in 1966, farmers started using new seeds to grow wheat. The seeds dramatically increased crop yield or the amount of food grown on a unit of land. India's wheat production shot up from 10.3 million metric tons in 1960 to 20 metric tons in 1970. Farmers also increased production of rice, fruits, sugar cane, and vegetables. This rapid and significant rise in food production was known as the Green Revolution. However, the high yield seeds required more fertilizer, irrigation, and pesticides, which are chemicals that kill diseases and insects. Fertilizers, pesticides, and irrigation cost money. As a result, the Green Revolution benefited mostly wealthy farmers. The Green Revolution also had negative effects on the environment. Rain washed fertilizers and pesticides into rivers, causing pollution. Sustain sustainable agriculture. Today, South Asian governments and farmers are adapting to the physical environment. They use new technologies and methods that are sustainable or, ca or capable of being continued without long-term damage to the environment. More farmers are using natural fertilizers such as manure to enrich soils. They're also using crop rotation in which they change by season the crops grown on a plot of land. These methods help to grow more food and to also protect the environment. Okay, let's take a look at this map. We're going to look at the South Asia land use map. Okay. So you can see the different types of land here with the forest and woodland and grassland. Then you have the mixed use, including crops. And then more cropland. And you're going to see wetlands here. And you see that they have fishing along the coast. And then natural gas and oil and petroleum.